Hi everyone! Kumusta kayo? My name is Jan Angelo. Welcome to my channel and mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare. So, make sure to keep watching. So, ang pag-uusapan natin for this video is all about the best 2-in-1 moisturizing sunscreens. Or, yung mga sunscreens na kapag ginagamit nyo na sila, most likely hindi nyo na kailangan ng daytime moisturizer. Which is especially convenient kapag summertime kasi syempre ayaw natin ng sobrang daming products na nilalayer at nilalayer sa face natin kasi nga very hot and humid yung weather. Now, technically guys, most if not all sunscreens already have a hydrating and moisturizing effect sa skin natin. However, depende sa formulation ng sunscreen na yun, minsan kulang yung hydration or yung moisture na nakukuha natin. So in this video, I've compiled for you the best sunscreens na may magandang balance between giving hydration and moisture to your skin while still being very comfortable kapag sinuot nyo sila. Also, a small portion of this video is in partnership with K-Beauty Cafe. Some of the products na i-mention ko in this video can be bought sa Shopee or Lazada stores nila, also sa website nila kung kailangan ninyo ng legit and authentic seller. So with that, being said, wala nang any any, let us begin. Alright, so as usual, inorganize ko yung mga sunscreens natin into three different budget categories. Starting with our first budget level, this is for those na maraming budget. So for the first time ever guys, sa budget level na to, hindi ako magre-recommend ng sunscreen na sobrang hirap makamit yung price. This one, medyo mas reasonable yung price point niya. And actually, pwede niya tong pag-ipunan. Now this sunscreen is from one of my favorite brands right now and sobrang dami ding may gusto sa product na to and sa brand na to from the international skincare community. The brand that I'm talking about is Beauty of Joson and this is their Relief Sun Rice Plus Probiotics. This is really one of the best sunscreens in K-Beauty right now. If not the best. Pero siguro yung the best opinion ko na yun. <laughs> Pero talaga guys, nung una kasi, ang dami ko talagang expectations sa sunscreen na to because I do see this all the time kapag minimension siya ng mga international skincare creators. As in, every time na nagme-mention sila ng mga favorite Korean sunscreens nila, lumalabas at lumalabas talaga tong product na to. And so, I decided to try it out for myself. And guys, nung unang try ko pa lang nung product na to, as in, nagets ko na siya agad at that time. As in, the hype is real. So, unahin natin yung ingredients nito. This is a mixed physical and chemical sunscreen that is SPF 50 PA4+, which is actually the highest sun protection you can get. And another very notable thing about this is, lahat ng ginagamit itong mga sunscreen ingredients are the new and advanced sunscreen ingredients na sobrang stable and all of them can provide a high protection against all UVA and UVB rates. Additionally, meron din itong niacinamide which as we all know, kung matagal na kayo nanonood sa channel ko, sobrang daming benefits talaga ng niacinamide sa skin natin from addressing dark spots, red marks, and of course, strengthening our skin barrier. And speaking of strengthening our skin barrier, we also have yung rice plus probiotics na sinasabi nila sa pangalan na to. That's actually yung 30% na rice extract which is a lot of rice extract. We also have yung lactobacillus and rice ferment, yun yung mga probiotics. Along with the ingredients, green tea and ginseng root, all of these guys, these contribute to the product being very soothing sa skin natin. Which is definitely one reason why you would wear a moisturizer in the first place. Para talaga kumalma and masood yung skin. Also, this is fragrance and alcohol-free. So, perfect na perfect talaga if your skin tends to be very sensitive. And then, as for the texture of this sunscreen, ayun na talaga guys, this is really how a 2-in-1 moisturizer and sunscreen should be. So, this starts off as a cream and then kapag sprined mo siya sa skin, it feels very lightweight and may pagka moisturizing siya. And then it finishes off into a very natural finish with a bit of a natural glow sa skin. And again, gaya nga ng sabi ko kanina guys, pag ginagamit ko to, hindi ko na talaga kailangan gumamit ng moisturizer. Especially on days na gagamit ako ng mga acne meds sa umaga. Just adding a layer of this as my final step helps to really calm down my skin and at the same time, moisturize and soothe it. So all in all, top tier sunscreen talaga to for me. Now, for the price, you can get this at 780 pesos for 50 ml, which is actually not that bad for a top tier sunscreen. Kasi guys, ang ganda ng mga filters niya, top notch, tapos ang ganda din ng mga extra ingredients niya. And yung 780, in fairness, medyo realistic siya na price compared sa ibang mga sunscreens na, diba? 2K, 3K, like sis, wala akong pang budget para bilhin yun lagi. Also, share ko lang guys sa mga interested bilhin tong sunscreen na to since very popular nga siya na sunscreen and maganda yung price point niya. 
medyo ubusan to lagi sa K-Beauty Cafe. Sa K-Beauty Cafe kasi yung lowest price niya. So, ang advice ko lang, I do suggest getting it before kayo maubusan. However, kung maubusan kayo nito, there is actually another K-Beauty sunscreen na masasabi kong close runner-up to this one. Very similar sila. And that runner-up that I'm talking about is from the brand Isn't Tree and this is their Watery Sun Gel. Ito rin guys, napag-usapan ko na siya dun sa isang video ko on the different types of oily skin and I did recommend it in that video as well as a good 2-in-1 moisturizing sunscreen. Kasi talaga guys, very true to its name ito, very very hydrating siya sa skin. So ingredients wise, itong sunscreen naman is also a mixed physical and chemical but mostly a chemical na sunscreen. Additionally, meron din tong niacinamide as well as ceramide NP. So very very good to for strengthening the skin barrier. Plus meron din siyang centella, purslane, and heart leaf extract. So very soothing din siya sa skin. And also this is fragrance and alcohol free din, much like the previous sunscreen. So in a way, very similar siya dun sa Beauty of Joss na sunscreen but also for the texture, may pagka-similar din sila. So this one also starts off as a cream pero true to its name, kapag ito naman sprinted mo, mafe-feel mo na yung pagka-watery niya and yung pagka-extra hydrating niya sa skin. And also, it finishes off with a watery glow temporarily pero nag absorb din naman siya sa skin. So all in all, very solid option to and a really really good runner-up in my opinion sa sunscreens in this category. Ito naman guys, this is in the 700 to 800 price range for 50 ml Medyo similar price range na rin dun sa Beauty of Joseon. However, if you are looking for products na medyo mas lower pa in price range, don't worry, marami pa tayong options as we move on to the next budget level. This is for those na medyo may budget. So, for those na naghahanap ng similar doon sa first two sunscreens natin, pero kapos lang kayo ng konting-konti sa budget, itong next one natin might actually already be the closest one that you can get. This is another very impressive na moisturizing sunscreen na technically na-mention ko na siya dati, pero medyo iba na siya ngayon. And the sunscreen that I'm talking about is from the brand na punong-puno ng controversy around a year ago. But now they are back and bumabawi na sila. This is from the brand Purito and this is their daily go-to sunscreen. So we all know yung nangyari sa Purito before with their old Centella Green Level sunscreen. Sobrang disappointment talaga yun sa buong skincare community. But now, bumalik na sila with their new entry na mas thoroughly tested with extra careful standard. So dahil dun, I think medyo mas kampante na ako sa bago entry nila na to because given nga yun ang yare I don't think they would ever dare na gumawa ng sunscreen na hindi papasa sa tests, di ba? But anyway, start muna tayo with the ingredients of this sunscreen. This is a mixed physical and chemical sunscreen that is SPF 50 PA4+. And again guys, maximum protection yun. And this is another sunscreen na very very impressive din yung formulation and UV filters nila. Because they also use a lot of the newer advanced filters as well in combination with some old filters. Now additionally, meron din silang ibang mga beneficial ingredients much like their old sunscreen, meron din itong Centella Asiatica or Sika in short, which as we all know is very soothing sa skin. And ang bigger plus pa nito is meron din siyang Madecasoside and Asiaticoside, which are the two active compounds in Centella Asiatica or Sika na nag help sa pag-soothe ng skin natin. Now, as for the texture of this, gaya nga nang sabi ko kanina, medyo may similarity siya sa Beauty of Joson and Isn't Tree, pero may konting-konting difference sa finish. So, this one also starts off as a cream, pero medyo mas mabilis siya maging watery or mas maging fluid. And because of that, instantly, mafe-feel nyo na yung extra hydration and moisture that you get from this as it sets to a very dewy finish, actually. So, gaya pa rin ng lumang sunscreen nila, medyo mas combination to dry skin types talaga to. Pag oily ka, actually, lightweight naman to, pero yung shine lang talaga, baka medyo masobrahan. Lalo na oily na yung skin niyo to begin with, so you might not like that. So, ako, what I usually do kapag ginagamit ko tong sunscreen na to and ayokong siya masyadong shiny is gumagamit ako ng powder, either setting powder or SPF powder powder to really reduce yung shine na nabibigay niya. But ito talaga, all in all, mas for dry skin or even aging skin na gusto niyo ng konting glowy or dewy na finish. Kasi medyo mas mahirap siyang ma-achieve kapag dry or aging yung skin type mo. Now, as for the price, similar pa rin to to before. You can get this mostly in the 600 price range for 60 ml. Not bad kasi dinagdagan nila ng 10 ml. So, you're actually getting more sunscreen compared dun sa mga previous sunscreens na pinag-usapan natin. Alright, next up is another 2-in-1 
non-moisturizing sunscreen but this time, ito naman, madali lang siya hanapin sa mga Watson stores. Itong sunscreen din na to, na feature ko na before sa channel na to, pero gaya nga ng last entry natin, medyo iba na rin siya ngayon kasi nag-reformulate sila. Kung matagal na kayo nanonood ng channel na to, baka alam na alam niyo na to from my previous videos. This is the very popular sa Watsons na Face Republic and this is their Purity Sun Essence. So, ayun na nga, di ba? Kasi around mid to late last year ko to nalaman na ni-reformulate pala siya ni Face Republic. Kasi marami din sa Instagram na nagtatanong sa akin kung ano yung mga thoughts ko dun sa new formulation. So, syempre ako, sa sobrang curious ko, napabili na rin ako that time and that actually means that I've already been using this to Almost mag one year ko na siyang ginagamit ulit. And ang verdict ko sa new formulation na to guys, in fairness, still pretty good. In fact, pangalawang tube ko na to. So basically, ang ginawa lang ni Face Republic sa reformulation na to is they shifted from a fully mineral to a mixed mineral and chemical sunscreen. And ginamit nila yung mga newer and advanced UV filters similar to our first few sunscreens in this list. So meaning lang nun is you will still get very high protection from this. Same rating pa rin siya as before SPF 50 PA. 4 plus. And additionally, dahil sa mga newer and advanced sunscreen ingredients, naging water resistant siya. Na as for the ingredients, nawala na yung complex nila na may centella, green tea, and licorice, which are actually very soothing plant extracts. So, sayang. Pero the good news is, andito pa rin yung more helpful na si niacinamide, phytosphingosine, ceramide NP, and adenosine. And all of these ingredients are also very soothing to the skin. And also, they are what make this sunscreen a really good moisturizer as well. Kasi itong mga ingredients na to are are very very good at strengthening our skin barrier which is of course the main function and yung main na gusto mo sa isang moisturizer. Also additionally, nagdagdag din sila ng fragrance dito but thank God, isang essential oil lang siya and less than 1%. So medyo relieved naman ako doon. So kapag ginamit nyo tong reformulation nila, medyo may maaamoy kayo na parang medicinal and that's actually the mugwort essential oil na nilagay nila dito. And thank God, hindi rin siya masyadong tumatagal. The scent fades away after a while. Now as for the consistency and texture of this one, it also starts off as a bit of a cream pero the moment na hinawakan mo siya and sprinted mo siya nagiging lotiony na agad yung texture niya as in mas nagiging fluid mas nagiging runny and makifeel mo na rin agad yung hydration compared to the other three ito din yung pinaka lightweight so far and this one sets the fastest sa skin yung finish niya is may konting glow din pero mas mabilis siyang mawala after a while so definitely this one kung yung purito is mas for dry or aging skin mas ito yung option ko for oily and combination skin. Kasi ito guys, medyo mas lightweight siya and medyo mas controllable yung shine. Now as for the price of this one, you can get this in the 500 price range for 50 ml. Yung regular price range kasi nito is around mga 550 pero pag sale season, madalas binababa to ni Face Republic to around mga 497 to 494. So do watch out for that. And dahil nagsimula na nga tayo sa mga options na madali lang mahanap sa mga Watsons, ituloy-tuloy na natin as we move on to the next budget level. This is for those na nagtitipid or my drugstore budget. So, for this one, start off muna tayo with the sunscreens na na-mention ko na before and kung matagal na kayo nanonood ng mga videos ko, you might already have an idea kung anong mga sunscreens to. Sa sobrang dalas namin na-mention ko yung mga sunscreens na to, meron akong tawag sa kanila. These are the drugstore holy trinity sunscreens. Kasi talaga guys, these are the best options to get if on a budget lang kayo for a sunscreen and sa drugstores lang kayo bumibili. Itong drugstore holy trinity na to include, of course, course, itong number one favorite sunscreen ko, this is the Dermaction by Watson's Water Drop Cream Gel na laging out of stock. As in Watson's, pepektus ang ko na kayo sa tonsils, kailang kayo magre-restock nito. We also have the Bello sunscreen na available naman lagi, very very trustworthy. And last but definitely not the least, we also have itong Sunplay Kids Sunscreen Lotion na ito, depende yung availability niya sa branch ninyo. If yung branch ninyo is nag-carry talaga ng mga Sunplay products, usually available talaga siya. As in, para lang sa akin guys ha, pag mami mili kayo ng skincare sa Watsons, magdasal muna kayo bago pumasok and ipag-pray talaga ninyo na meron yung isa sa mga to sa stock nila. <laughs> Kasi talaga guys, these three are the best of the best that you can get when it comes to sunscreens that you can get sa mga drugstores. All of these are fragrance-free and can already act as your daytime moisturizer, which is why swak na swak talaga tong mga to sa budget
budget not just for a sunscreen but for a skincare product in general because for this low of a price point makakakuha ka na ng moisturizer and sunscreen in one. So because lagi ko na tong na may mention, ililink ko na lang kayo sa mga videos where I mention these products para makita niyo sa mga videos na yon yung mga textures and consistencies nito. So I will be putting them sa i button just in case gusto niyo makita yung videos na yon. But just to give you an idea, itong mga sunscreens na to are in the 300 plus price range. Pero for those na medyo mas mahigpit talaga yung budget, we also have a smaller size ng Belo. This is 20 ml for 195 pesos lang. Alright, so when it comes to yung mga regular size ng mga sunscreens, yung mga na-mention ka na are the best that you can get at that price point. Pero for those na medyo mas mahigpit yung budget nila, and bigay na budget category nga to, I wanted to include another option for a sachet sunscreen. And when it comes to sachet sunscreens guys, isa lang talaga yung laging-lagi kong binibili kasi in my opinion, decent yung formulation niya and sobrang accessible siya. Ako kasi personally, gumagamit lang naman ako ng sachet sunscreens in emergency situations. Kunyari, meron akong pupuntahang trip or pumunta ako sa gym nang wala akong dalang sunscreen, nakalimuta ko dalhin yung skincare ko. Kapag kailangan ko ng sunscreen, screen just for that specific situation or specific event, doon ako bumibili talaga ng sachet sunscreen. And the sachet sunscreen that I always, always reach for is this one from Snail White. This is their brightening day cream. As in talaga ito guys, this has saved my life countless times. And nagulat ako, sobrang accessible nito. Meron to sa Watsons, sa Mercury, pero meron din siya sa mga 7-Eleven and meron din siya sa mga mini stock. As in, naloka ako sa availability nito but I guess depende rin sa branch ninyo. Pero ito talaga, love na love ko to because in times of emergencies, meron na ako agad na moisturizer and sunscreen in just one small sachet. So just to share with you guys the ingredients of this sunscreen, this is a mixed physical and chemical sunscreen na SPF 30 PA3+. So decent protection naman siya and more of pang everyday lang talaga yung sun protection niya. Additionally, palaban and then si Snail White, they also have niacinamide in this formula, pretty high up in their ingredients list. So, 2-in-1 na talaga to for me as a niacinamide moisturizer and a sunscreen. Which is why I really really like it for emergencies. And speaking of ingredients, this one also does have fragrance. Medyo maaamoy mo talaga siya when you dispense the product. But in my opinion, hindi naman siya yung fragrance na parang masakit sa ulo. And hindi naman siya yung parang fragrance na stick talaga sa skin mo. Additionally, wala rin naman naging reaction yung skin ko from the fragrance of this product. Pero iba-iba na yun per person. And speaking of yung size nito, actually kung lagi akong indoors and di ko naman kailangan ng very very high na sun protection, I would actually consider this as my everyday sunscreen. Pero nagulat ako na wala pala tong bigger size. As in kung maraming ganito yung gusto mo bilhin, kailangan mo talaga pakyawin yung parang set niya tapos pagbukas mo, marami siyang mga sachet. Which for me, medyo sayang siya kasi I would honestly highly highly consider this kung may bigger size siya. Very not bad talaga, very decent yung formula. But nonetheless, for those na patingi-tingi lang yung pagbili ng skincare or for those who just want to test their sunscreens first or even for those na naghahanap ng mga sunscreens for emergency situations, I highly, highly recommend this. Two steps in one, accessible ang price and mabibili mo sa mga Watsons, Mercury, and even sa mga 7-Eleven and mini stock nga. Depende syempre sa branch, pero ako talaga, success ako lagi kapag hinahanap ko ito. And speaking of accessibility, yung price nito is just at 89 pesos for one sachet. 7 ml yung isang sachet niya which usually lasts me mga 3 days. So I suggest kung bibili niyo to and gagamitin niyo siya for let's say 1 week, I suggest you get around mga 2 to 3 sachets. And again, gaya nga nasabi ko, meron din silang pack of 6 sachets for 510 pesos. Pero just ko snail white, alam niyo, wag niyo na kami pahirapan. Gumawa na lang kayo ng regular size nito. Sige na. But if you wanna check kung saan to mabibili online or any of the products for that matter na minention ko in this video, naglagay na ako ng mga links sa description box para hindi na kayo mahirapang hanapin sila. Also, if you found this video helpful, please do leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!